Okay guys, right now as we speak, all right, I've got 22 pending deals for $10 million in volume. Okay, this is a lot more than I had this time last year. All right, I'm working on two more right now. I got two offers last night, one for 800, one for 500. So I'm working those out today. I feel pretty good about both of those. And I just had a call. I picked up two listings for $8.50 a piece, and these are gonna fly off the shelf. What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So I gotta tell you, I am extremely excited about my personal real estate business right now, August 2020. Um, it is a very exciting place to be because on the flip side, okay, uh, I haven't made a cold call since 2017. I don't do direct mail, I don't do social media for my real estate business, all these things. The only thing I do is a weekly email. And I've been doing the weekly email since 2007, of course, every single Wednesday, okay? But at the same time, it is an extremely euphoric feeling to have put in all that work over the last couple decades and to be where I am right now with the amount of volume that I'm doing effortlessly okay the way that I built my business on relationships over transactions building my personal brand with the best tool available which is email okay the highest organic reach out there has put me in a position to where I can now continue the same volume year over year over year over year and have time to go build other businesses, A, and B, spend more time with my family. So <laughs> I just gotta tell you, I'm in an extremely good place. The money is rolling in, I'm helping thousands of people, tens of thousands of people, and I just couldn't be happier. Now, let me throw this out there before I get into all my deals, because I want to go through each deal that I have right now, 22 of them, and tell you the quick little story behind each of them. Okay, but, but before I get into that, I just want you to know that if I lost all my money today, every penny today, it would not affect my happiness because I got the skills to pay the bills. I understand how to communicate. I know how to talk. I know how to work. I understand how the system works. Okay, and because I know how the system works, it's a very low possibility that I'll lose everything. However, if I did, I know exactly what to do, step by step, to build it all back very quickly. I'm also building a team nationally. I've got agents all over the country. If you're interested whatsoever, just email me, ricky at zero to diamond.com, and I'll be glad to get on a call with you. And I've also been pushing my podcast extremely hard because there's so much incredible content there where I'm really digging into people's problems or specific situations and helping them through those issues. You have to go to my podcast, I'll link it below, and check it out because there's so much gold. Because you're gonna find so many nuggets on the podcast every day. I'm posting seven days a week now. Okay, let's get into these deals, all right? So the first one that's closing the soonest here is, uh, is a unit at Bayshore Towers, unit 1106. Okay, it's in the mid 700s. I actually got both sides of this transaction. It's a $40,000 commission. And the, the way that I got the, the, the deal was I cold called the building years ago. This had to have been six years ago. Uh, they've been getting my weekly email ever since. They weren't interested, gave me the email, got the weekly email ever since, and then bam, they called me. I met her at the condo. I listed it right then and there. And probably three weeks after I listed it, another owner in the building wanted to upgrade to this unit. Okay, so they found it on Zillow, called the listing agent, which was me. I met them there. We worked the deal out, and she's gonna close on that and then sell her unit. And that's a million dollar listing. Okay, and so when I say upgrade, the one that she's moving to has a better view. And it's, it's actually a smaller unit, but it's a better unit because of the view. So she's upgrading her view, but it's a smaller unit per square foot. The other listing is gonna be a million dollars. So I'm getting two. I got both sides of one and getting the other listing. The next one is a two bedroom at Phoenix One, the very first Phoenix building built back in the 80s. Okay, this is in the mid 300s. I got this one because again, I cold called the building so long. This was like, this had to have been maybe, mm, this, was, this could have been even before the market crashed. 
That was a long time ago. Um, but this was somebody I got his email, stuck with him. He actually listed it with another agent. It was listed for over a year. And then he called me, I relisted it, and it did take us a while because it's such an older building, but we finally got it done. Now here's a one bedroom at Phoenix 7 that I have under contract in the mid threes. This, this is an interesting story. My very first deal when I came back from the crash, I sent out emails all over the southeast. Someone bought a $400,000 condo from me. Okay, years later I resold the condo for them for, I believe it was in the, the high 500s. Okay, but this guy is his uncle. Okay, he referred him to me. He referred him to me back in the day. He didn't buy from me, he bought a condo from somebody else. But I stayed with him on the weekly email. They eventually came back to me, sold that condo. Okay, bought two more condos. Okay, this happens to be one of them. Bought a third condo. He resold that condo and he's reselling this condo. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six deals right there. And if you count the first two I did with his nephew, okay, that's that's eight deals so far. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about when I talk about repeat referrals and referrals of referrals. Every relationship that you put in place, you're going to capture 10 to 20 deals over the life of your career from that relationship. That's, that's the numbers, that's the statistics, that's what you're looking at. So when you're talking to prospects, please stop worrying about if they're gonna buy or sell today and focus more on how can we connect with this prospect. Long term, short and long term. The next one is a lot on the bay out on Kenner Road 12, right on Mobile Bay, okay, the mid 200s. Uh, I actually sold this seller's house at the peninsula. I got both sides of that deal that was in the mid fives. Uh, and then that was last year, about a year and a half ago, and then now he's selling this. He's actually building a house right down the road. I'll end up listing that one as well. Um, and that guy, he's just an all around, first class uh, guy that, that we just get along. We just get along really well. We treat each other like family, we do business. Okay, there's one right here at Phoenix 4. It's a three bedroom, it's in the low 400s. And I got this one because I cold called the building, sent emails, that was probably six years ago when I cold called that building. And the, this, is, this is a bankruptcy situation, okay? So the court ordered this condo to be sold. The seller said, I want Ricky to be the agent. The courts reached out to me. It was a long process, and we're still going through the process because uh, we have a buyer in place, but it has to be approved by the court. So it's kind of grueling, um, but I'm hanging in there, and that's the story behind that one. Okay, I've got a one bedroom at Tropic Isle, okay? Tropic Isle, this is in the mid 300s. This one, the appraisal came in low. Okay, so we had to reduce the price. Still much higher than anything that sold in the building. So the sellers were like, you know, hey, we're still happy with that price, let's go for it. Um, but it came from, uh, this was a referral from a dad, his dad. I sold him some condos and this is the son. And so I met the dad through cold calling a building called Ocean Reef years ago. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure, I don't even think they own that, that Ocean Reef anymore. I think I sold that for them. This was a long time ago. This tells you how long it was. I don't even quite remember, can't connect all the dots of what all properties everybody owns. But um, this, I, I sold a, another condo to the father. This was his son, they're from Michigan. And uh, they have three, three, uh, three sons. And <laughs> it's just a really cool family. But they bought that condo, like I said, it had to have been, nine years ago, eight, nine years ago. So anyway, they came back, they're selling it. It's a repeat customer. We're making them a profit. They're happy they're gonna move on. Royal Palm, 704, I have it under contract with my buyer and we're closing next Friday. They're extremely happy. We actually were under contract on a Phoenix 5. It fell through because there's gonna be some assessments coming up in that building. So Royal Palms is a lot cleaner in terms of the association and the repairs that need to be done on the building and they're extremely happy. This was a referral from another agent, okay? Um, I believe they're in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. If I'm not wrong, that's where the agent is located. And uh, so they're gonna get a referral, but this is pretty much a direct uh, referral from all these videos that I do, okay? So over the last, I would say 2020 has been the year of referrals from other agents from my YouTube and Instagram and different social medias you know, for my coaching business, that, that side of my business, which is very interesting because Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, you know, this Alabama is not like a, you know, a place where people are just flocking to. Although in the Southeast, 
you know, it's one of the nicest beaches down here. So um, I'm starting to get some referrals coming in and that, that's been fun. Okay, I got a two for here. I got the Ridge. Okay, the Ridge is a condo. Okay, and I have Enclave. Okay, so I sold Enclave to a buyer. He didn't like it there after a year. He's selling that and buying the Ridge, which is next door. So the HOA rules are a little different. He didn't like how they handled it at Enclave and here we are. Right, so now we're reselling his enclave and getting him in a ridge. Um, this guy's a super nice guy. And uh, you know, I know him a long time, done a lot of business. He sent me so many referrals, I can't even count. And uh, so I'll be glad to get him out of the one he doesn't like into the one he likes. The one he liked, the one that they're moving to is really nice. So I'm really happy for him. Here I got a buyer in the mid sevens on a, on a Vista Bella. Um, this one comes with a boat slip. This guy is an old time friend, client. He comes from Baton Rouge. He owned a printing company. They sold the printing company. He's doing super well. Um, he has bought and sold several with me. He's referred so many people from Baton Rouge to me. I can't even count another one. I can't even count how many referrals and deals I've done through this connection. Um, but he owns a Phoenix 10, he's happy there, and he's going to use the Vista Bella as a second home, thinking about possibly moving down here. But Vista Bella is an incredible place. It's like 2,200 square foot. Um, he's on the ninth floor looking across Ono Island and the different bays, right across the street from the beach and his other condo. And uh, I'm really happy for, for him to get that one because it's a really good deal. I'm actually listing one in the same building, don't want to say what unit yet. Um, you know, for $750 uh, in, in about the next week. And that one should sell really quickly without a boat slip. So he's getting this in the mid-7s with the boat slip. That one's going to be without a boat slip. I got a pre-construction that I'm working on here. Phoenix Gulf Tower. Not going to be built for like maybe three years. I'm not sure when the completion date is. Two to three years out. But Brett Robinson on the pre-sales, you have to close cash immediately. Okay, so this is a 1031. I sold his Crystal Shores. It was a referral from another guy that I did three deals with, sold two of his condos. He did a 1031 into another one. Okay, that was, I don't know, 1.5 million or more worth of business there. He referred me to his friend here who already sold his two bedroom for 450,000 and he's going into this one for the mid sevens. I got a penthouse at the wharf, okay, under contract for the mid nines. This is a referral from another coaching student and uh, it took us a long time to get under contract because it's such a unique property and we're going through the inspection phase right now. Everything should be perfectly fine. Um, but that one's in the mid nines and uh, came from a coaching student. I'm looking forward to doing a lot more business with you guys. Okay, so send me all the referrals you have and anything I can do to help you, please reach out and let me know. I got one at Carib. Okay, I got one at the Carib in the 600s. It's a Bayfront three bedroom. Um, this guy came from a referral from another client. Okay, so here we go. The referrals and the past clients and the referrals of referrals just keep pouring in. Um, this guy is super well qualified. We're halfway through the process. Closing towards the, the midway point of, of September. And uh, really excited because this was the only Bayfront three bedroom in Carib available out of three buildings. Okay, there's 600 units there, right? Half of them face the beach, half of them face the bay. This was the only one in all three buildings facing the bay and that's what he wanted. So we got him in there at a really good price. So I'm not gonna go through each one of these last deals, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more <laughs> that I didn't tell you about that all have their little stories, you know? I mean, every deal has this little story, every referral, every past client, you know, every, you know, every situation is different. That's why I always say, you can't just walk in every situation and say, okay, you know, this is how you handle every deal. It's different every time. Everybody has different situations and goals and, and what they're trying to do and timing and family and everything else. So go into every situation, asking the same questions that we, you would ask your mother. Okay, if your mom called you right now and said, I think I'm gonna move, what would be the first thing you would say if your mother said, you know, I think I'm gonna move across town or to another place altogether? What's the first thing you would say? You would say, why mom? Why? Why are you moving? Okay, so when you're talking to your prospects and clients, I want you to think how you would respond if it was your mom, dad, brother, cousin. 
Okay, the same conversations need to happen with your prospects. That's the exact same way you need to treat them. Give them that FE, that family effect. Make them feel it. Okay, make them feel it in all their, their entire body. They need to feel like you're there for them, you care about them, you want the best for them. Okay guys, that's my little update video for the week. Shoot me a comment, let me know that you wanted me to continue making these kind of videos and let me know what in the world I can do for you. Okay, we'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.